Wajinki Park, Wajinki Park Królewski. Those names mean something to everyone in Poland. This green expanse is inseparable from the history not only of Warsaw, but of the country. It is here that leisure time is spent by families, friends, lovers, students, and sportsmen. It's a park for everyone, but it didn't start out that way. It started out as the very special province of the Lubomirski family. Later, King Poniatowski made the park his own, and it was really during the late 18th century that, that uh, the greater proportion of buildings were constructed. There is the Palace on the Water, of course, a classic building of its kind, not only in Poland, but in Europe. The palace seems to float on an island in its reflecting pools. Meanwhile, the 70-odd park is a conglomeration of forest and lake and sculpted gardens, dominated on one end by the ancient Ujazdowski Castle and on the other by the Belvedere Palace, the residence of the president. The park remains the greenest spot in any city in Poland and as a park comparable to the best of those in any capital in Europe. So sit back as Poland Daily Travel takes you for a tour of the highlights of Wajinki Park in the heart of beautiful downtown Warsaw. Poland Daily Travel brings you the best and most comprehensive programming about travel in Poland that you're ever likely to find. Watch Poland Daily Travel and like us on YouTube. And if you really like us, subscribe. So let's watch a walk in the park with Poland Daily Travel in Wajinki Krolewska in beautiful downtown Warsaw. Thank you very much. Good coffee. Let's try it. Smells good. Very nice. Thank you. Where's Peter? Oh, there he is. Let's go find Peter. Peter. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Poland Daily. We are in Wajinki Park in Warsaw, and I'm with uh, Peter. Chemuchowski. Chemuchowski. It's easy for him to say. <laughs> He's got a lot of experience saying Chemuchowski, Chemuchowski. There we go. It's not that hard. Uh, it's, it's almost like well, you're, Chemu, you, Chemu, where? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it is. where, isn't it? But the spelling is different. But you're doing really Chemu, great. Where? Am I doing okay? Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. lord. I need, I need that. I need that. Uh, I need you to say that, Timmy. It makes me feel a little better about butchering your name. But at any rate, uh, we're, we're walking now. We're going to go to the palace. Uh, and we're slowly making our way there. What is this? Yeah. Uh, the stone that originally was put somewhere on the palace uh, right. during the times of the war taken off as it's possessing some of typical Polish symbols. Um, pretty much what we are looking at is the coat of arms. And a question from the tour guide to you, Will, now. Okay. To whom is that code of I arms I think of you so much more than just a tour guide, Peter. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead. What? So, uh, what is, that is, you have a hint here, to yeah. whom is that dedicated? Uh, it's dedicated to a four-legged something. Creature. So, the thing is, the hint is on the top. Well, the king. The king's it must be the king. coat of arms is yeah. the crown yeah. is sits is set on the it's very a top. Royal coat of arms. Right? Absolutely. To to this. which king? We are visiting uh, the question. park. I don't know. Yeah. We are visiting the park that was arranged and bought by the last Polish king, whose name is Stanisław August Poniatowski. And what we see in the very middle is his very coat of arms. And a little little thing, little question: Do you happen to? Uh, know what kind of animal that is? Unicorn. A unicorn. One of the. Hey, folks! I couldn't really tell. It's a bit old. Mm. I just guessed it was a unicorn. I had no idea. And the most <laughs> common guesses: unicorn, or simply speaking, the dog. While the author would like you is to see. Is it actually see... a unicorn? No, no. It's not. No, okay, see, it's not. that's wrong. <laughs> it is the bull. Um, the bull is the coat of arms of the last king. This is his symbol. Okay. And now a very quick explanation. Except from the bull, you're having the Lithuanian riders and 
the two symbols of Poland, which are the Polish eagles. And I would like you to know that this symbolizes that there is Poland and Lithuania having a union of their lands under the common ruler, which is meaning that this is the personal union. Right. The king is common for both. Okay. And this is what the very stone and says. so this is dating, this is a recreation or an original? This is actually the original stone from tablet. What from what time? It's the times of the king, once the whole park so is being erected. something 1764, years. pretty much around that date. So... That's the time that the park is created. That's a long time ago. Anyway, Over 200, 200 years. 60 years or something, yeah. Absolutely. 65, yeah. Wow, so this is the original Poniatowski rock. That's what I call it. The pony atop, I don't call it that, but it is that, right? <laughs> Indeed, the coat um, of arms. That's, that's amazing. The, uh, but the park was not built by um, him. It's, uh, it sorry, was... the last Polish king, Stanislaus Augustus, is the one to buy the whole territory oh, okay. of the wild forest, because that is what it is in the 18th century. It was a big wilderness over here, right? Absolutely. It was a hunting preserve. Over 70 ish. hectares yeah. of land full of wild animals ready to be hunted. 70 hectares, by the guys which is from a lot Warsaw. of acres. It's about twice many, as many acres um, and a little I, more. I think a yeah. thousand acres is a hectare. Mm -hmm. So, I'm oh, sorry, a hundred acres is a hectare. Is yeah. No, no, not a hundred hectares. No, it's about Square. two something. Maybe. We, we can yeah. Google that yeah, yeah. Uh, in Google the time that. of the need, <laughs> right? Knows, knows, uh, <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> We're uh, not going to wrestle over it. <laughs> no, 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 that's absolutely not. That's and too far. Another thing, if that we do not know something, we do not make stories about that, no, right? No, we do not. Very, very old yeah. tour guiding rule. No, no, no. Okay. I'm learning then. That's good. Because I was just going to make it all up. Yeah. And now, Will, I no, think... No, Lubomirsky was the guy. Lu who originally had this place, wasn't it? Uh, was pretty much he, uh, Stanislav uh, Herakliusz Lubomirski was the owner of that land before it was the park. That's right. Yeah, it was his, uh, but he had it as his hunting place and whatever. Absolutely. Because uh, he was a super big Lubomirski magnet. is the family it's in Poland. Name. That's one of the big names. One, one of the ten, top ten most wealthy families yeah. in the whole history. But well, that's enough about this. Hey, stay with us. And, oh, there's a bunch of kids. We could have just told them all if they speak English. But uh, stay with me and Peter. We'll be right back. We're walking to the palace on the Island. water. Everybody's in Wajinki. Look at all these people. Fantastic. Be right back. So uh, welcome back to Poland Daily. We're still strolling through the park here in Wajinki, Krolewska, the uh, park in the center of uh, beautiful downtown Warsaw. I'm with Peter Chamachowski. Yeah, that's right. That's all right. Yeah. I got to be careful. It's <laughs> almost, it's the, it's definitely the wrong thing. You've picked so, the tour guide with the most I, difficult I surname. I said it backwards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, which is not easy. Uh, w what's this? We're on our w way to the palace over there. What's this? Uh, well, building. Uh, we are we are lucky to use the original entrance to the park, and this the one we would just came be in, yeah? the one yeah. that we just came in. Um, this uh, used to be the place where the guardsmen of the king would have his would have, uh, would have their barracks, would have their place to stay okay. in the park. Um, the truth is that once we are arriving to the park, it's not a place which is just right around the corner from the royal castle. It is quite of a distance to make. This is why okay. if I'm the king and I invite you, Will, then you will come with the courage, most likely. Okay, and to with do courage and the carriage. Both. Yeah, yeah okay. absolutely, to visit the king. Yeah, you gotta have some courage. Because the king is very um, intimidating. 
Uh, might be, Could might be. be. But not Let's say Tony that by all accounts. He was a connoisseur of art more than he was a muscle. A tough guy, yeah. Up he fellow. wasn't a tough guy. Uh, but, Catherine the Great was found in a pushover, right? Um, so this is a very long story, <laughs> right? This is a long story. Yeah, but we can't talk about that now. Okay. And we'll, we'll touch that later. Okay, let's uh, talk about the guardhouse. But you're, you're arriving with the, with the courage, as, as, as uh, we were speaking about just a moment ago. And then at the certain heights, which is pretty much in here, um, you're going to have uh, the uh, line of the trees okay. um, pretty much changing a bit because there are three of them missing. So if you okay. do not have the proper invitation, what the guardsmen will do, they will ask you to politely return to where you're coming from. If you didn't have the identification, right? Absolutely. Or the invitation with the royal seal or whatever it was. Absolutely. So yeah. you need to have a sigil or any confirmation that you are the right. proper place. And um, if, so if you person. were not allowed in, what would you do with your carriage? Um, <laughs> that's not of the business of the king. You can't back it up. You are going to have a very, very uh, thoughtful thing because yeah. these trees that used to be here, they are missing. So to right allow here. you... These are missing, yeah to return yeah. to where you're coming from. Right. This was actually a very, very nice logistics, very simple, but also very functional because a little bit further, if you would go, you already have the people that are, let's say, accepted. They are very prestigious and from the very close neighborhood and surroundings of the king. Very good. Okay. So uh, let's keep walking and, Absolutely. and, and uh, get to the palace. Yes, please.